Hello everybody, it's the King back here with another video, and today guys, we are back with some more Marvel's Spider-Man. Now, really quick disclaimer before we get into today's episode. Um, I, yesterday's episode, or I guess I should say last time's episode of Marvel's Spider-Man, we had a little bit of a recording problem where um, it didn't record the game's audio. I did not realize this, clearly, because I was going on rants and everything, and I just didn't like, um, I didn't notice at all. Uh, we're gonna pause real quick, just because J J no, Jameson's uh, little... Clips are always the most interesting, so I, I want to hear that, but before we do that, so I'm going to put a quick, uh, like, recap in the description of last time's episode, so you guys will still know what's, what was going on, but in case you guys uh, kind of skipped that episode because of the sound and, and came to this one without seeing the description, I'm just going to tell you, basically, uh, we, we showed the mask to Martin Lee, we met, uh, what's her, uh, what's it called, we met, uh, Aunt May, I forgot her name for whatever reason, right, we showed the mask to, um, uh, Martin Lee, and then Shocker broke out of, uh, prison, and, uh, we beat him, we put him back in prison, and then he broke out a second time, so that's what we're doing right now, we're supposed to go back on our way to capture, Sh uh, Shocker for the second time, and the person who broke Shocker out of prison, uh, this, uh, this time, was reported to have glowing eyes, and was seemed to be hypnotized. So, that, that's what basically a quick, very, very brief recap. If you want to have a more in-depth recap, go check the description. I'll be sure to put, like, a very in-depth recap for that episode. So, no more uh, pauses. Let's get straight into the game. May from Queens writes, You're so full of anger, and I wish you'd get help managing it. It's terrible for your health. May from Queens. I'm pretty sure that's it. May right there. Sir, but this is a common misconception that I have to correct. I'm not full of anger. I'm full of love. I call out injustice, corruption, and crimes against humanity because I adore I know it's right there, but I really want to continue and hearing J. Jonah. Be better. What you hear in my voice is love. Nothing but love. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I have a hard time believing it's love. I don't know, man. All right. There we go. This boss fight really, really <laughs> screwed me up Herman, on my first play. Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, it wasn't even difficult. Sure but I just violation. it wasn't even all that difficult. If I'm being honest, it's just like I couldn't figure out the second of uh, like boss phases mechanics. And I was like, how am I supposed to beat this man? Because I I cleared the first phase beautifully. Questions? It was the second phase no? that really like caught me up. Okay, face punch it is. That, that might be a little loud for you guys, my bad. I'm trying to get it right the here. The are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Alright, before we get into this, let's just uh, make sure we have the right... Uh... Oh, can we not switch uh, suits right now? Oh, you know what? I guess since this is a boss fight, we can't switch suits right now. That's gonna be okay. That's gonna be a little bit difficult. Our first fight. Cause He's I don't so even. Oh, actually, never mind. You we have the. Ah, uh, damn it! I really had that. That's fine, man. Okay. Oh, so I know you guys cannot hear this mouse clicking and this keyboard. I'm really sorry about that. I, I, there's nothing I can do. Quite frankly, like. Go. All right. You know, people don't use banks anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks, try day trading. It's all the rage. Day trading? Okay, come on now. Damn, yeah, man, you need some stronger on, webs. Herman. You tell me who you're working for. I can help you cut a deal. So this is what if I'm talking about. This face of the boss fight, I will... No, not this face, actually. Uh... Yeah, this face is easy because it drops a bunch of things, right? So it's really easy. You just gotta beat him up, kind of like this. Out, Keep dodging every time he like does that, and then just hold, just kind of fire. Ah, damn it! I really was hoping that let's see if we can get this before he fires off again. Damn it! Come on, finally! 
I kind of don't see the point of dodging. We have the skilled ability active anyway, which is kind of annoying because usually in boss fights I like to switch it to quad damage. But for I'm not so. It doesn't matter how low my HP gets right now. Cause I can just activate the shield ability when we get a little too low. So it's perfectly fine. Which is why I'm not too worried about it. But um. Yeah, like I said, the first time recording this game, I actually cleared this face perfectly. I was only, I was basically at full health. I think I only got hit like twice. And then um, the problem was that this phase right here, I he he stops dropping obstacles. So I was like, what am I supposed to hit him with? And it turns out you're actually supposed to do uh, no 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 no. You're actually supposed to do this. You're supposed to make sure these pillars fall on him so that this thing just collapses on his head. Yeah. See, this phase of the boss fight was what I was confused with. I just kept swinging around, and I'm like, what am I supposed to hit him with? Literally. <laughs> like, uh, it was so embarrassing. I literally died twice. I was like, what? I don't see, like, anything on the ground. He's not dropping projectiles. What am I supposed to throw at him? And then one time, I, I got stuck on that obelisk. I'm like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to everywhere. Because it won't show, the like, the Q button toggle unless you stop and look at it. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do right now? <laughs> Okay, Yuri. Shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Yep. Hey! The Bugle is a perfectly fine news organization. <sighs> Not sure I'd call it news. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway. Have you had any more reports on demon, uh, guys with masks? Well, let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make in God, the, the Spider-Man web is so to fun to play with. Shouldn't have asked. It's just so fun. Like I said last time, I started playing Miles Morales just so that by the time we, like, finish Spider-Man, I can, um... Just so by the time we're done with this game, we can go straight into our Miles Morales uh, New Game Plus campaign. But, um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm having trouble getting through it. Not even because it's difficult or whatever. Like, it's just so boring. Like, <laughs> like the combat mechanics and the web slinging are far more refined than this, uh, the, like, Spider-Man 1, which is what we're playing right now. Which is surprising because, um, usually when I play these type of games, or usually just in media in general, I, I like, I highly, what draws my interest is the story, right? The story is what usually draws me in. The problem right now, though, is that, like, while I enjoy the Spider-Man 1 story, what it's actually drawing me the most is the combat, right? I, there's just something about, like, the swing, the web swing in the combat that's, like, really drawing me to this game. And it's what's had me continue this game even after stopping the campaign. I'm, like, almost 90% done with the map on my first play through on this game. Just because it's so, so fun. Like, I, like, it really does make you feel like Spider-Man. But playing as Miles Morales, like, it's... It's... If you like Miles Morales more than the original Spider-Man, you might get more enjoyment out of it. But at the same time, the story just, A, isn't as interesting. And it just, like, I don't, I can't quite, like, explain the disconnect. It's like if you, it, it's like if you play a Batman game, right? And then the second game is, like, a Robin game. And it's like, you might still have fun, even if the mechanics are better, but, like, you don't really want to be playing as Robin. You want to be playing as Batman, if that makes sense, right? The main, like, allure of this game is to play as Spider-Man. Now you're playing as Miles Morales, which is still really fun, because, like I said, the, the, like, the game mechanics have been much more, like, updated and refined compared to this first game, but you're no longer really playing as, like, the character that you kind of like. Like, I have no problem with Miles Morales. I was never one of those people who, like, got mad that he, like, got introduced. I actually really liked him. But he, just because I really like him doesn't mean that he's, like, my preferred Spider-Man. You know what I mean? Like, for example, I don't like Spider-Man 2099. It's just... It's <laughs> nothing against Spider-Man uh, 2099. Like, Miguel O'Hara is a cool dude. I just... I don't know. He's never done it for me. Coverage. You know what I mean? I should look for more towers to like, activate. he just, he never has. But, like, I still accept him as Spider-Man and has no problem. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't care for people who, hey, like, like him. It's, it's no problem for me. But, so I was never one of those people who really got mad at Miles, like, being introduced as, like, the second Spider-Man or whatever. I, I, like, it made sense. Like, if Peter died, somebody had to take over the thing. And Miles was also always a very interesting character. You know what I mean? I really liked... The way, like, the, uh, like, whenever, like, he would appear in the comics or whenever he would appear in, like, TV shows or whatever, like, Peter would, like, sort of mentor him, right? Because it was a way to, for Peter to, like, get a sidekick without having a sidekick, if that makes sense. Miles Morales was always his own super, like, hero. He never had to be a, like, sidekick. You know what I mean? Demons. I knew you'd come around. It's just, but it's not the same. It really isn't. Hitting a lot of Fisk properties. They're going after Fisk? Damn. You thinking what I'm thinking? 
proving gang war? Let's try to get ahead of it. Are there any fist properties? Damn, that I am really tonight? keeping some momentum right now. Let me see. Patrol reported a bunch of activity at one of his shipyards at Portside. Thanks, Yuri. I'll check it out. Like it would be the same, right? Like using the Batman analogy that I did. Like I really, really, really like Nightwing, right? I also like Damian Wayne more than any other Robin. If I had the choice to play between Batman and Damian Wayne, I I choose Batman every single time. Even though Damian Wayne is my second favorite Robin, maybe tied with Nightwing. Honestly, I can't decide between the two, but like they're both very cool in their own aspects. But still, just because they're very cool, they can't outrank Robin for me. So if I was forced to play as a game as only Robin or like as only Nightwing, well, it would still be fun. It wouldn't have the same enjoyment level as if I played with um just uh like Batman. If that makes sense, right? And that's kind of the the struggle that I'm facing with playing with Miles Morales right now. It's fun. The web slinging, the combat mechanics. No matter what like aspect you look at it, it's far more refined than um. What's cold? It it's far more refined than like uh this this Snipers game. Which is, uh, I need to deal with them first. Bang. A lot of junk scattered around here. All right. A well-placed uh, web shot could make a great distraction. Huh. Okay. We're just focusing on the vault. Doesn't the boss have gear stashed all over? He did. Demons have been hitting other locations. Okay. Let's just. Uh, I get it. Art of war style. Choose one point. Alright, I'm gonna bounce here, so I can do this, and then, there we go, okay. I'm just gonna sneak up over here, alright, and then there we go, cause he kinda has the highest outlook right now, and I don't want him to like, catch me while I'm defeating some of these other guys, okay, so then we're gonna... Alright, uh, let's see if we can use a jump here. Alright, and then, uh, actually, let's, uh, perch stake down him. Alright, so yeah, while well, Miles Morales is fun, like, like, the story isn't even all that, like, interesting. I'm kind of, like, at least in the beginning stages. I don't know if it gets better later on. Like I said, I'm kind of struggling to get through it right now, just out of, um, I guess, kind of boredom. Mm. It's not bad. Like, Fisk is trying to see I enjoy seeing how he's becoming his own, like, hero. You know what I mean? I feel like they did that part very well. But it's just, like... I don't know. Like I said, like, I'm kind of surprised my, at my own again. reaction as well. Because usually when I play power. these kind of, like, games and stuff, and, like, these kind of, like... It's always the story that draws me in. Even if it's an anime, if it's a manga, whatever. A manga, whatever, however you pronounce it. It's always the story that draws me in. You know what I mean? Usually the story is my main focus point. But, like, for Spider-Man 1, the story, even though it was fine, wasn't really my main, like, interest point. You know what I mean? It was it was the feel of playing a Spider-Man that really kept me playing. Like, right now, while we're having all these stealth takedowns and stuff, right? This is really what it's all about. This, this sort of... I'm, like... Like, just, just ha like, having a feel of being a Spider-Man. That's kind of what it is. That really, really is the uh, lure of this game. And while Miles Morales is is a Spider-Man, he's not my preferred Spider-Man. So even if it was like, like I said, Miguel O'Hara or the Scarlet Spider, or if it was a game about any of them, even if the mechanics were still better, I don't think I would get the same enjoyment. So it's kind of, it's kind of difficult, honestly. You know what I mean? Hopefully the story gets better. I'm not really sure. As of right now, uh, damn, there are just so many guys here. Ugh, this is so many people, it's a problem. Alright, you know what? Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. So, I'm gonna bang, and then bang. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna web sling here. Jump, pop this thing over there, and then we're gonna. Come on, bro! You're telling me I can't take out this man? No one's here. Go alert. Here? There we go. Web sling over here. Although we could easily just take out all these guys, I'm really trying to do it first, a full stealth, just for the um game mechanics. Okay, he's uh, he's a little suspicious for whatever reason. Okay, you know what? I kind of wonder if we can do this. Let's uh, go over here for real quick. Wait for him. Perch stake down. And then we're gonna 
All right. At this point, there's only like five guys. We can kind of abandon stealth if we want, which I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. Yeah, you know, actually, this guy's right. Yeah, okay. Uh... Whoop. Where's the guy that was right beneath me? Is he safe? Yes, he is. Alright, perch stake down. And then, there's only like four guys left. Yeah, there isn't even really that many guys left. It's kind of. We can just kind of do this. Bang. This is gonna take him out. And then. Bang. This is gonna take him out. And then. Bang. And it's like, even if you know I'm here, what does it matter? I took you guys all out anyway. It's a little too. Oh. Oh no. I think I hit him a little too hard there. He's having a Caesar. Oh no, the cops have come to arrest me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. You know we can't have vigilantes trespassing or doing illegal searches. It's not illegal. Yeah. It was a I perfectly know. legal Caesar. Well, I, I probably. <laughs> okay, that was the double what entendre. I'm not gonna explain it. If you get it, you get it. I like the sound of that. <laughs> if you get name? it, you get it. Uh, Officer Davis. Call me Jeff. And you are? Uh. <laughs> just messing with you. Nah, I, I really do like. Fan. Like, so, uh. Da Davis is our character. Down here. Doors? Not without a lot of extra paperwork. I wish okay. he could have gotten just a bit Find more screen way. time. He was he was very uh let me see here. Sixteen minutes. Place yep. This rundown so, should have a hole in the wall or a broken window. Check around okay. back. Let me try to remember you know, how I got in here the first time. Cause this it was actually this missing that made me uh what's it called? That made me restart my playthrough on on New Game Plus account. Cause I was like I can't cause I, this this original playthrough took me around an hour when it could have been done in like this level when it could have been done in around 20 minutes because i just didn't know like i i kept walking around i'm like there, there has to be like a way for me to do all this stuff and you know what i mean and it's just it was not working um yep there we go all right let's just go in here like I, I spent so much time searching for like a window, and then when I was in here, I spent so much time searching for like wires and stuff. And just, it was so stupid. Here is so much better. Okay, where's actually before I do anything, just because I know what's coming up next, let's just uh deals massive damage, and then we're gonna go with the uh what's where is it? Doot, boom, and then uh. No, we don't care about the combo counter. Where's the bonus damage for 10%? Yeah, here... No, okay. So, what, what's the other thing we usually use? It's, uh... Oh, it's usually increased the amount that you heal. Yeah, you know what? Let's just put this here. Why not? That locked door. All right. Jeff, you there? I'm doing my best to refrain from knock-knock jokes. Appreciate it. You see a junction box powering the door? Yep. Yeah, got it. It's not letting me shoot it, so I guess I have driving. to wait. Yep. This is the perfect field test. Sit tight. Okay, I already have electric webbing, so can I just thank you? <laughs> it wouldn't let me fire it until the cutscene was over. Win. Gadget man, huh? You remind me of my son. I started taking apart the TV when he was five. <laughs> now he's unlocking his friend's phones. Sounds like he could teach me a few things. This is another thing I have to um oh so spoiler in case you guys didn't know this is Miles Morales' father. But um another thing I really have to give credit to Miles Morales the game. The map is so much more enjoyable than this. It's the same map, but it's the activities. Like for example, I hated the research activities in um Spider Man. I hated the um there were so many like gotcha. annoying activities in uh, their hidden rooms. like Spider Man's map. But in Miles Morales, like when I'm exploring the map and doing the challenges you? and stuff, they don't feel as tedious. They feel like fun. I've got a hidden panel, like the one on the door. The conduits lead out the back. Look for another junction box. Let's see if my mask lenses can pick up the conduits. Okay. Huh. Did that work? No. Nope, still another one right there. The right Alright. Yep, there we go. Uh, this should be good. Yep, there we go. Thanks. No way I could have unlocked this myself. Hey, I doubt I would have found it without you. Hmm. 
You got a big fat nothing. Well, there's one secret room. There could be more. Notice anything about the floor? Uh -huh. They can hide the doors. But they can't the hide the scrape marks. Yep. Keep an eye out for more of those. Which, th th like I said, this is this is an aspect that I find very believable and like I enjoy way more than just kind of like if they had just found it right. These scrape marks, if you were like a, a criminal or whatever, this is absolutely scrapes. something you would just ignore. You know what I mean? You would absolutely not think twice about having some scrapes on the floor, because like you just wouldn't. It's it's one of those things that like even as a, and it's one of those things I really enjoy. You know what I mean? Like, using this kind of logic where it's like, yeah, well, it, it's Peter, just something that could happen in real no life, door. you know what I mean? Now it's I a very logical anyway. conclusion right. that, like, yeah, right I mean, there. there's just some scrapes that people are gonna, like, they, they come into contact with them every day, that for them, from their perspective, it's no longer suspicious, it doesn't matter, you know what I mean? This is absolutely, it's always still, like, the simplest things that give, like, uh, people away. Yeah. Second floor, rusted machine parts, big honking rats. <laughs> Careful, the bridge is out. I got this one. Yeah, he's gonna do a little leap right here. Which is so nice. reckless. He, he could have just let us web sling him across. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't think this Another is even a donut door. eater. Look, oh, we can't even. Yeah, see, we can't even normal jump this. Box. We'd have yep, to super jump it. this. So there's no way. A normal man, like I find it very difficult to believe a normal man would be able to, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe from this side actually? I know it's kind of useless, but I am really interested. So if we normal jump from this direction, can we? Oh, actually, I'm not sprint jumping, so maybe that's the problem. Let's... You were after Fisk for a long time, huh? Uh, yeah. He's my great white whale. Ah, uh, oopsie, uh, I kind of whipped something right there. Yep, no, okay, uh, you can make it, I guess. Mm hmm. Alright. Did it open? No. no. This door must be hooked to another box. Hmm. If I were a junction box, where would I be? All the conduits. That did hit it, right? Just in case. Alright, uh, where are the other boxes here? Oh, there's another one right there. Okay. <laughs> Found one. Nailed it. Was that it? Hell yeah, you did. Was that good enough or no? Uh, yes, it was. Good. Hey, check this out. Nothing. I'm starting to feel like this is Fisk's way of messing with me. <laughs> well, look at the walls. They kept guns here. They wouldn't have moved them to the front door. Gotta be a passageway we're missing. Check out the wall. This might control access to another area. Fisk's men were talking about a vault. Maybe we're close. Bet on it. Looks like a dual circuit. See if you can find a second junction box. All right. Uh, yeah. See, this is this is what I was talking about. Here, I struggled so hard because I uh, the first my first playthrough, right? I hit this wire, and then I guess it just never like like it never uh, what's it called went through that I actually hit it. And I was like, what do you mean I never hit you? I absolutely did hit you. I was so annoyed. Yeah, see, apparently electric webbing doesn't get through this, and I'm like, what you mean? It's literally electricity. It's not like, like, and they're just iron bars with you gaps right, in Jeff. between them. Trap You're trying door. to tell me electricity isn't gonna get through that? That makes no sense. Think you can help me out? This thing's heavy. Come on, bro. One, two, three. Well, that isn't spooky at all. Probably an old bootlegger's tunnel. And it looks like no one's cleaned it since Al Capone. Big chunk of concrete in the way. I can't get through. Let me see how it looks from the top. All right. Yeah, this one we have to kind of walk to some here. sideways. On. What was that? Subway, maybe. Let's hustle. The place is unstable. God damn it. I hate this <laughs> sort of walking so much. It's straight up so annoying. Okay, that definitely wasn't a subway. No. It sounded like explosives. And that sounds like demons. The vault! Hurry! Come on, let's go! 
Yeah, they're gonna get away with it before Damn. we get here. Demons are already gone. Yep. How'd they beat us here? Must be a back door. See if you can find it. This place is one hell of an armory. Or was. Got empty crates here. And it looks like they took the ones they didn't clean out. Yeah. Smash and grab. They were moving fast. They didn't want the non-lethal stuff. They passed up smoke grenades, flashbangs. Yeah, they took all the rocket launchers, guns, missile. There's a like, fenced grenades, off room here everything. they didn't bother with. Too much effort to break in when you can just peel back the wire mesh over this gun rack. Yeah, the, the, the demons are arming themselves to the thief, and that's definitely not good for us. Uh. There, they blew the locks to get in. Shh. Yep, demons. they're still here. Stay here. Hell no. It'll take both of us to stop them. And some of these. Like, I'm gonna be honest, I don't, like, th th this is something that, like, you know what I mean, I li like, I like talking lo about a lot, like, I'm a very logical person, and I like taking things to their logical, oh, that's very loud, and I like taking things to their logical extreme, I just, like, how are you gonna help Spider-Man in this situation, like, I just don't get it. That's what I'm talking about! Dodging bullets. <laughs> Gonna stun him. Look out! I'm a little impressed. Keep watching. God damn it! I was trying to. I can't him. target him because the fence, which is so stupid. You're telling me a fence can get in the way of my targeting? <laughs> All right, let's. Uh... Okay, let's hey, just. I needed that. All right, let's just deal with all of you guys in the best, most easy way possible. And then we're just gonna hit you guys with some spider grenades. And then, we're gonna wait for you guys to hold the full, and then bang. How we doing? We're just Need gonna stick you to some walls. Your timing is impeccable. That should be good enough, right? Firing. Stay clear. Oh, there's still a few guys? Okay, well then. <laughs> now we good. <laughs> I've got friends too. Yeah, for once. So congratulations, bro. I love the the, the like these shot webs so much. Like I love the webs that just shoot them away. They're so fun to use. Oh god. You okay? Having gadgets unlocked makes like the campaign so much more fun. All right. If I lose two trucks full of gunmen in one day, it's time to hang up the webs. Okay, we've talked about this before in a previous episode, but I suck at the chases, because especially when I have to start dodging. See? See, this is what I'm talking about. When I have to start dodging is when I suck at the stage. At the, um, at the chases. Dodge. Ugh, this is so annoying. Okay, you know what? Alright, dodge. God damn it. Okay, we're gonna... We're gonna lose them in this raid. So I'm gonna have to... Use... Kinda... Ugh, I suck at this chase scenes. I won't even play. I really do. I could absolutely activate, like, the shield ability. Instead of, like, just trying to chase them. But I kinda... I wanna do this genuinely, okay? I, I wanna beat them genuinely. <laughs> Hey guys, room for one more? Alright, come on. Yeah, that's right. I didn't even need to cheat and use the suit ability. The shield. Alright, there we go. Oh god, I remember this. Oh no. 
Yeah, I remember this. Oh, great, now the three decides to run on time. I'm sorry for all my mouse clicking. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? I I tried listening back to a few of my videos and like I understand how this is where Davis comes in. Yeah, 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 look at that. He comes in clutch. I won't even play. Like before, I was like, we didn't need his help. Here, we absolutely did. This man deserves a medal. He's a, he's a, he is a true hero. No, you don't. Yeah, look at that. He was so tired. One punch, and then he immediately went out. We've now identified the officer as Jefferson Davis. We're being told he has minor injuries and is expected to make a full recovery. Excuse me, miss. Are you supposed to be here? More than you. After that auction house thing, the bugle put me on the Bro, scene. she's always sneaking into such dangerous like situations. This. And the demons. You know, like, the closer you get to them, the more you become a target. Uh, and this becomes a very prevalent issue later on in the game, which is why I'm mentioning it now. But, like, it's just, like, it's Wait. so reckless, bro. Officer Davis. Like, Mary the amount of times she almost gets killed in this no game problem. alone, like, I just do not, bro. I don't blame you. But these guys are going to tell their story with or without you. And they thrive on controversy. So what's your end? I don't have one. I just listen. Okay. Up in. She's good. Yep. Yeah, I gotta give it to her. She's very good at persuading people. You know what I mean? She's also very good at almost getting herself killed. But she's also amazing at persuading people. So. Credit where credit is due. Man, I'm beat. Time to head home and get some sleep. Yeah, we are not fast traveling to home. Uh, let's grab this Excel Tower real quick, just because it's here anyway. And then we're going to uh, end off today's episode, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. Also, you can use the comment section down below to either, uh, like, communicate with me or your fellow viewers. I always do try to, uh, well, I always try to respond to my comments, but if I don't respond, know that I have read it anyway. You know what I mean? So, even if I don't always respond, know that I do always read all my comments. So, uh... Yeah, I hope you all had a wonderful day. If you haven't, I hope it turns into a great and a wonderful day. And that'll be all for today, guys. I'll see you all later. Peace out. Bye.